five, four, three, two, one. Walmart, the American retail giant, was founded in 1962 by Sam Walton. He had one strategy in mind and that was to offer shoppers lower prices than they get anywhere else. Number one, get suppliers to offer them the cheapest prices and when the supplier seems to have gone as low as they can, Walmart pushes them even further. The sheer size of the retail chain has forced suppliers to these demands. Number two, they pushed the universal barcode which forced manufacturers to adopt common labeling, saving costs in packaging and taking fat out of its supply chain process. Number three, truly offer your shoppers the lowest prices they can get. Guillermo, who has just recently purchased some items from Walmart in Beijing, and we're going to ask him what are the differences between his shopping experience here in Beijing and back in America. They have many, many things here, just different Chinese food and everything, the Red Bull, as you can see, is different, that's why I bought it. In states, most of the Walmart uh, have its own own building, right? Just like the our talk said, it's just one floor. But in, in China, most of the Walmart is in a in a, in a mall area. Of course, they pick up like a two or three floors. I notice the aisles are a lot narrower. I guess to get more stuff in there. Walmart has a different set of suppliers, you know, than what they have back home, you know, to accommodate for the Chinese or the Asian uh, traditions. Walmart did pretty well in terms of localization as well, right? Because yeah. they, they, for instance, they cut the meat, cut the meat, process the food in front of you. The Chinese people, they, they like fresh stuff, and they want usually they want to tell you how to cut them, how to. That's how to prepare them. Normally, for a purchase items in the United States, we only see it at the cash register. But they had display items up and down this which I'm assuming the vendors pay a premium to be located in those locations. Hi, my name is Mark Filas. Caroline Bergayev. Walter Spradley. Elizabeth Nagel. Brooke Bettis. And today, I got to experience Walmart in Beijing. What was your shopping experience like at the Walmart in Beijing? I have a lot more fresh stuff. I don't have very many like prepackaged meats or anything. We played loud music. It was, you know, their customary music, but I don't believe I've heard music that loud in Walmart before. You have to pay for your plastic bags. It's about 20 cents for a plastic bag. Also, all the aisles were kind of smaller and shorter. They stacked all the boxes on top and had, had the aisles jammed full of stuff. And for once, I can actually reach the top shelf. They do package things differently. Um, you'll see on all the shelves, they stack the brown boxes on top of the rest of the inventory. So it seems that uh, their backup inventory is all stacked up above the, uh, the shelf items. Walmart here sells a lot less 
form and e-package together because people shop more frequently and don't buy in bulk like they do in America as much. For the milk carts, uh, they were uh, very small and this is because a lot of their storage in their houses are very small so it requires a lot of their shoppers to make three or four shopping trips you know so everything in Walmart was like half the size of what it would be in the States. Three stories tall. And also noticed that was a lot more focused on the food aspect. The electronics section was very small. There wasn't a lot of clothes or books like there is in the big Walmart back in the U.S. I think they had a lot more like brand advertisements and like the cosmetics and stuff, like they have their own L'Oreal and Clinique sections. It's kind of different than just throwing it all in one aisle. Individual vendors have actual um, sales rep, you know, selling their product. Um, this is how some of the suppliers, you know, get their brand out in the market. How did Walmart revolutionize the toilet paper? A lot of the rolls of toilet paper um, here in China don't have the center cardboard um, cylinder. It's just a bunch of rolls that are just rolled over itself, smashed into one bag. When they took the cardboard out, they took cost out of that product and they came out with the cheapest toilet paper in the country.